Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we're at the Airborne and Special Operations Museum. Come along with me and see what we can see. At the time of this video, the museum was open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sunday, noon to 5 p.m. Closed Monday. Checking out their huge gift shop, you will see a press penny machine with all kinds of neat little emblems on them. The U.S. Army Airborne and Special Operations Museum is located in the heart of historic downtown Fayetteville, North Carolina, at the corner of Bragg Boulevard and Hag Street just up the street from a variety of local shops and restaurants. Now there is no admission fee uh, for this museum, not even for dummies <laughs> like me. However, they do request a $5 donation and for what you see and what you're going to see, it's definitely worth it. So give them the five bucks. However, a general admission ticket for the motion simulator is $10. Our tickets are available at the gift shop. Fort Bragg is also easily accessible through the All-American Gate, which is about an eight mile drive. The official address is 100 Bragg Boulevard, Fayetteville, North Carolina, 28301. Now there is plenty of parking available in front of the museum and they have the ability to accommodate RVs and buses. Large vehicle parking is available along Hillsborough Street and in the parking lot adjacent to the North Carolina State Veterans Park. Now this unique museum does have on display hundreds of rare and significant artifacts. Preserving those artifacts is a full-time job. As time and environmental factors slowly take their toll, it's for this reason and to the courtesy of other visitors that no food, beverages, or smoking is allowed inside the building. Unfortunately, many of the artifacts aren't able to handle the demands of very bright lights. So they do ask that no flash photography be taken in the galleries. Now professional photographers may inquire uh, if they wish to take limited photographs. Now, the museum was established in August of 2000 and is a first-class institution that efficiently and effectively captures, preserves, exhibits, and presents the material culture and heritage of the U.S. Army Airborne and Special Operations Forces from 1940 and in to the future. Oh my goodness, there is so much to do and see here. There's videos, there's people popping out of the corners. There's all kinds of neat stuff. You gotta come. The museum celebrates over 80 years of Army Airborne and Special Operations history and honors our nation's soldiers, past, present, and future. The museum offers interactive educational experiences and public programs to illustrate the Army Airborne and Special Operations Forces role in building and defending our nation, their humanitarian missions, social initiatives, and technological breakthroughs. Running this museum is a joint effort between the U.S. Army 
and the nonprofit organization called the Airborne and Special Operations Museum Foundation. Now, the Army designated that foundation as the official fundraiser to finance exhibits, educational, and public programs for the museum. Okay, now next we're gonna to go to the North Carolina Veterans Park. Now at the time we got here, the visitor center part of it um, was closed. Now this is right across from where we were just at. So literally right across from the parking lot. If you have time to do it, do it. Um, although again, we couldn't go inside, the outside grounds were fantastic. They really did a great job on it. It's kind of sad, it's a little bit of a memorial but oh, what a wonderful job they did. Really worth your while. Go check it out. Well, thank you for coming along with me to the Airborne and Special Operations Museum. I hope you liked what you saw. I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video, write a comment, and please subscribe. Oh, and hit that bell while you're at it. And as always, have a great day.